I know many folks might just by hearing your voice, you recognize your voice from the U.S. Army commercials for sure, <laughs> as well as obviously from uh, from your acting career, Forrest Gump, playing the famed Lieutenant Dan character. Is that where your connection with uh, armed forces and having you as uh, an individual and actor connected to it, is that where that comes from? Well, that's, that's part of it. Um, but, uh, you know, I have a lot of military in my family. So I'm okay. bo on both my side of the family and my wife's side of the family. So it kind of starts there. And then uh, uh, years ago, I got very involved with uh, Vietnam veterans groups in Chicago. I, I have a theater company that I talk about in the book that I started with my pals called Steppenwolf Theater in Chicago. Sure. And, uh, when I was working there back in the late 70s, early, early 80s, I got very involved with some local Vietnam veterans groups, started supporting them in different ways, uh, helped create a veterans memorial in Lansing, Illinois. We started some programming at Steppenwolf focused on supporting veterans. And that was a full 10, 12 years before I, I actually played Lieutenant Dan and Forrest Gump. So by the time I had the uh, the audition opportunity, sure. uh, when that came along, I was kind of tuned in to, to supporting veterans already and very much wanted to play that part and was lucky to get it. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> because of your because of your connection already to the military, you, that's yeah. what led you wanting to take the role of Lieutenant Dan? Yeah, to, to Vietnam veterans. Sure. Uh, particularly. Mm -hmm. I, I have Vietnam veterans of my, my family on my wife's side of the family. Her mm -hmm. two brothers or sister's husband. Mm -hmm. I'd been working with Vietnam veterans, uh, supporting them in different ways. You know, they kind of got crapped on when they when they came home from war. It was a terrible time in our history. Very divided nation, and the and the the, the service members kind of fell through the cracks, and bad things happened. And and so I just started trying to give back to them in different ways. And so when this opportunity came along in the mid '90s to audition for this guy, and he's a wounded veteran. That's right. Um, you know, I very much wanted to play it. I was lucky to get the part and uh, ne never imagined that it would play a greater role in my life than just a movie part, but it but it actually did. Yeah, and I want to dig in a little bit into that a little bit more. Gary Sinise here on The Rich Eisen Show. You played a character in Lieutenant Dan, not just wounded physically, but mentally. And we're seeing that so much with military members that are coming home from theaters, from uh, serving overseas. We have a ton of veterans who listen and take in this show and that was so moving in that film gary that that you know the magic legs uh is what uh obviously forrest gump called your legs but you how it you were upset that he actually saved you because your character was supposed to die on the field of battle like everybody before him uh, i'm wondering if that's what spoke to you when you got the script as oh, well part, or? part of it i mean it was it was a you know the way the structure of the of the the character in the movie. There, he's only in the movie about twenty minutes. I mean, if you look at it, there's little sections of him mm -hmm. twenty twenty five minutes worth. Uh, but the, it was a great story because in the end, a guy who's going through a lot of post traumatic stress, he's dealing with his own guilt from walking his platoon into an ambush, getting a lot of them wounded or killed. He's blown up himself. He just didn't want to survive that that's a, he's got a lot of survivor's guilt there because of it and that's a, that's a typical understandable thing for many warriors coming home from war but the good thing about that story and we hadn't seen that prior to Forrest Gump really in a movie about Vietnam or a Vietnam veteran was that he's okay in the end he's standing up again he's on legs he's clean cut he's rich he's made a lot of money in the shrimping business you know he's yes, uh, you know they 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 did well he invested in Apple, and he made a lot of money. And uh, that was a story about a Vietnam veteran that we just hadn't seen, somebody who could come back from war, go through the understandable anguish and, and despair and all the things that he was dealing with, but in the end, come around and do okay. That's the story that we want for every single veteran coming home from war, is that they're able to push through their experiences in war and, and move on with it. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm just trying to trying to help folks do. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.